Hello and welcome. Um, the sarcastic part of my brain wants to say welcome losers and the wholesome part of my brain wants to say hey cool beans. So um, take your pick depending on your own vibes today. Multiple choice. Freedom. Have it. Have it. Hi, I'm sat in my legs and I'm like nope, but I'm too short. <laughs> I'm too short. But yes, hello. Welcome to my second attempt at vlogging with this camera. I'm, uh, I have pretty shelves and I was like, once they're actually sorted, this could be a nice background. Okay, it's also kind of because, um, th th my computer's right there, so we're, we're using my ring light. I can just turn it around. <laughs> that kind of works a little better than any of the actual lighting in this apartment. And I'm not quite brave enough for right by windows <laughs> just yet. Just yet. That, and honestly, I need to get a tripod for this camera because right now you are balanced in the little open drawer from my desk. <laughs> but I thought, you know, this is just gonna be a little chill, uh, lifey kind of vlog. Mostly just because I want to vlog. That, and you know, I, I, every time I watch a click for Taz video, I'm just like, I wanna just life vlog. But then I'm like, but I'm boring. And then I'm like, you know what? Who cares? If you're watching, you're watching. And if you're not, you're not. I can just do the thing. And of course, speaking of life things, as you, for one, as you may know, if you follow me on Twitch, my gaming YouTube, or you know, have eyes, my hair is, you know, red and more of the length I used to have it again, and I'm very happy and excited about that. Seriously, I don't need the full thickness of my hair in summer. Put aside all the I feel more me for red hair things. Just practically speaking, no, <laughs> no. But so for like actual points and things of this vlog, I went outside today. Cue laughter. No, but really like I have the week off work and I'm one of those people that like if I don't have anything to go do, I just stay inside on the computer. Something, something, your parents think you'll grow out of it but the joke's on them. <laughs> Not really, I'm, I'm kind of thriving. I'm working on a bunch of stuff for my gaming YouTube, but it's just nice having the freedom. But so, I went outside to go to the shops to get a birthday cake. But then, I was, but then I was talking to my friend and I was like, I don't know what cake to get. And she reminded me of the existence of Colin the Caterpillar. And that is how I ended up in an M&S food hall, sheltering from the heat. <laughs> I may have went a little overboard, but I say, for one, I have an extreme sweet tooth that holds no bias, and for two, if you can't go all out on someone's birthday, when can you? So I may have been brought in for calling the caterpillar, but then I saw this. They have a red velvet cake. I don't know if I just don't look at cake aisles a lot, but I feel like you don't normally see red velvet, and we both love red velvet. Let's look at it, it's all fancy and stuff. Now in another timeline, I would totally have just, you know, also bought a call in the caterpillar cake. I was very tempted, but instead I saw the compromise my bank account loved. They do a little mini, little mini call in the caterpillars. I'm like, great, we can have the chocolate glory at a um, reduced price. It wouldn't be a trip to have an ass without some Percy the pig. <laughs> Like, Percy the Pig is a superior gummy sweet, and you can't tell me otherwise, and also something something childhood nostalgia. But I saw they have Percy Pig Mini Bites, which are Percy Pig TM flavor mini bites with marshmallows and fruity jelly pieces. So I'm like, that sounds intriguing and different. Also, if you want to know, no, I did not get Percy Pig sweets, purely because I already had some. Because I buy things, and then I go, but I want to save that really delicious sweet for, like, the best proper moment, so I don't know. Maybe. At some point, I either feel like celebrating or, like, absolutely misery eating. I'll open them then. <laughs> Until then, here you go, Mamble, you look after those. And also, that's not all. Um... I didn't know this was a thing. I saw this and just went for the novelty and the curiosity alone. I think I have to, but um, Percy Pig Fizzy Pup, that's a thing. I'm just curious how this is gonna be. I mean, obviously it's gotta be sweet, right? Cause it's Percy Pig, but I'm like so intrigued. So intrigued. So I think we good on the birthday goodies and all of his presents have arrived. <laughs> Um, if you follow my Twitter and you saw my tweet about something arriving broken and hoping that, like, the, uh, replacement would arrive in time, 
which it did because that was like just over a week ago but I'm so glad because it's <laughs> it was a mug okay it was a mug it's a Peaky Blinders mug heat change fancy it's cool it originally got sent I bought a bunch of t-shirts like of various like some pajamas and some t-shirts like I got him some Jaws pajamas and various like superhero and various franchisey t-shirts I actually don't entirely remember right now what I got but I know they were all cool <laughs> uh and the mug and the first one arrived with the mug in its own separate box within the box of t-shirts but there was nothing in the box with the mug like there wasn't you know how like any protective packaging, any bubble wrap around the mug, any like carefully molded polystyrene or plastic around the mug, nothing. It was just the mug loose in his little box, which granted the box is, you know, just bigger than the mug, but it's still not enough. It, that thing arrived broken. And then they sent out the replacement very quickly and they were very good. Um, and this one was actually wrapped up. So I'm assuming somewhere in the packaging for the first one, uh, someone goofed. And I'm like, mistakes happen, that's fine. But I'm also like, Mug got posted with no protection. Okay. <laughs> I got a card. No face reveal today, sorry. But uh, my partner is a big fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger. So I got one of the like photo upload cards off of Moonpig. And there's this picture, this like old picture of Arnie holding up two women. And I have photoshopped my boyfriend in over the top, like their, his face. and. <laughs> One of them has hard eyes, so I'm just like, this is gonna be fun. Can't wait to see him open that. And the best thing is, there's no way I'm having this edited and uploaded by his birthday, so there's no spoilers here. Maybe next time I'll tell you how it all went. Or rather, the remains of stuff like this, I'll be like, yeah, it tastes like this! That next vlog is just like five minutes of me in a complete, absolute sugar, like, twitchy crash state just with the last least being like yeah guys it tastes like this <laughs> also just because the card and speaking of post um i got this top off of soft kitty clothing um dot is it dot com or dot co dot uk yeah either way they're awesome and i love them and they had a sale and i got this and i'm like this is totally gonna be pajamas because that is like <laughs> not a full length top and um honestly i'm uh Still on the working on the body neutral phase. I'm not quite a body positivity yet, so n no, <laughs> no. But I can't wait to just land around the house in this. I'm like, I see Halloween and I want it. You don't know how much I'm gonna have edited out me being like, ah, my legs as I readjust. <laughs> okay, uh, so the rest of this is pretty much going to be, I'm going to finally put the rest of my books on this and organize these. Because I got them at least a couple months ago now. Might have been fe March, February, I don't know. But point is, I basically put the first like few books that I already had in here on them. And then um, haven't really organized much since. Si si and then haven't really organized much since other than putting a couple of prints because I finally got frames because of a very cool Dragon Age one that you'll see up in the top whenever I actually show you everything. Because oh boy, my Dragon Age 2 obsession again. And hey, if you like Dragon Age, I'm currently streaming Inquisition as a first ever playthrough on Twitch. Just, you know, shameless self promoing because today, today I have no... Because today I have no head gremlin telling me to shut the fuck up. For better or for worse. <laughs> People who are very good readers, you're going to get to judge me for the books I've started and then sat down. Because <laughs> oh boy, it happened. Uh, but if you're like me and also struggle with the actual physical reading of books, come, feel, feel the community, the uh, relatability, the vibes. So I'm like, okay, you need to come out of there for now, Hamble. Don't worry, you can still have the pigs. I don't like how happily he went off with those. Um, there's the, I'm using a book as a bookmark. There's this, Hunt for the Skinwalker, which I've read the first chapter of. And I know I really, really like, because this is actually my friend's copy, that she read first. And then she literally posted it to me, because it was, like, back in, like, not even outdoor lockdowniness. And I'm just like, oh very excited to read. I've read the first chapter probably like two months ago because I put books down and then forget to go back to them. That's why Kindle has reignited my reading a little bit but I'm like I want to physically read. So it's literally sat here. My desk is literally right there. 
I still don't, I was like, if I see it, I'll read it. I still don't. I just forget about my surroundings. I'm like, I don't even notice that this is right there. I need to like, I don't know, set it on top of my keyboard and then be like, oh, hi, book. <laughs> but we'll get there. I believe, I believe. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the books and put on there just to be like, aha, yes, stuff and things. Look at my shelves. Then I'm probably gonna montage the actually organizing this sped up or cut it out all entirely depending on how uh, long everything is. <laughs> and then you'll get a completed tour where you actually see everything and I'll show you the top and everything properly because they're longer than the frame. Yes, yes, yes. First things first is not a book, but a really cool bookmark. It's a little shark. It says hungry for books. Book closes, little fin still up. I buy novelty bookmarks and hope that it will encourage me to read more. Sometimes it works. Okay, speaking of cool bookmarks, I was going to show off the really cool Dragon Age ones I got off Etsy. Because uh, it was a little Grey Warden themed one. has like their sigil and the whole, you know, in death, in life, and victory motto that I absolutely, totally remember word for word. And I'm totally not going to attempt to out of uh, knowing I will get the word slightly wrong. And the Morgan and Alistair one, they're very, very cool. And I'm like, ugh. I put them somewhere safe so I wouldn't lose them. And I've done the thing where you know you put it somewhere. S I've, and I've done the thing where you know you put something somewhere safe and it's just. But hey, if I find them before I've like finished this video, um, I'll add it in a picture over here. Under the books. So for one, Stephen King's Lizzie's story. Haven't read it, highly recommended by my friend, and found in a charity shop. So, you know, it was kind of a opportunity. Let's go for that. Well, that should go quite nicely with Stephen King's The Dark Tower, which... I don't remember if I bought... No, this is my friend's copy. I was gonna say, did I buy this secondhand because of my friend, or is this my friend's copy? This one is my friend's copy because I'm interested in the series. I'm intrigued by the world. I've never read it. I haven't read it yet. Um, might be a good starting point actually for physical books because not too long in terms of size. Uh, I'm intrigued. Intrigued by the concept. Then I watched the movie a little while after that came out. I would love to know who thought trying to combine like how many books is there seven or something into one movie was a good idea. But you know I could enjoy the movie even if there was a lot going on and I totally understand it that it does not live up to anything because there's too much squished in but I'm excited to be able to actually know things eventually I have a bunch of books that are like random well this one's fairies but ghost spooks mythology things that my friend sent me for my birthday and I'm like that's awesome again friend True crime addict. Uh, is this reflected in the O? Oh. Based on my preview, I guess everything's mirrored. Um, if it isn't actually like that and it's just a weird preview thing, awesome. And if not, yeah, I'm gonna make sure I read all the titles. Got it. But this is about Maura Murray. If you're at all in that true crime rabbit hole, James Renner is a name you know. <laughs> I'm not directly in the rabbit hole. I've read this book. I'm intrigued by the case. My friend gives me updates on things that happen, but I don't actively follow it myself because, oh boy, is that a ten ring circus based on everything my friends told me in terms of just the personalities circling that case. It's just, there's a lot. And um, so like I said, this is my friend's copy. This is confession time, friend. And hey, that's where I put my other bone clip. I made it precisely one chapter before I bought it on Kindle and just read it on Kindle. <laughs> Partially also because I was trying to read it at night in bed and you know, when someone's trying to sleep beside you, you feel bad having a light on. But mostly also that I... I'm just better at doing things on a device than not. It works the same way with my computer. I'll sit and work on my huge videos. I mean, that also comes under things I actually want to do. But you know, online productivity, great. Actual physical existence productivity, mm. getting there. So there is that. 
there is my little souvenir from going to Paris and visiting the catacombs that I haven't read either, but I'm like, it's cool souvenir and eventually I will. Cause I'm like intrigued, yes. I should think about what way I'm putting these. Ha 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 ha, ha ha. Okay, you know what? Um, Crowley, Sam, and Dean can come out of there for now. Uh, there is also a Castiel, but he's up uh, way over there. If you watch any video where I'm in my computer chair, you'll see him in the group of plushies on the little shelf thing behind my desk, computer chair, that direction. My friend got me the five books for my birthday set, and I'm very hype. Again, I think I can read the first, is it one or two if I haven't finished Inquisition? Either way, I think I'll finish Inquisition before I need to actually worry about that. But Again, intrigue. And want to use those Dragon Age uh, bookmarks in my Dragon Age books. Yes, yes. Oh yeah, and now you can uh, see uh, the, just about see the Fenris art print that is the reason I finally framed some of my prints. Uh, doo, 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 doo. Also, again, this is just like the newest books people got me for my birthday. I have Emily Autumn's The Asylum for Wayward Victorian Girls, which is quite possibly the book I've procrastinated longest on getting. So thank you, friends, if you're watching. This was kind of a birthday treat to me because I pre-ordered it as soon as it came out, being like, my birthday month. Dan Howells, you will get through this night. Again, also very excited. Have I started it? No, I have not. This is basically the top of my I want to start reading list though, like when I do lift a book, there's just, like I said, there's that Skinwalker book and there's another book I'm like a chapter or two in. I want to finish something before I start it that way because I don't want to have too many books on the go at the same time because that's only going to make it even more that I'm not going to keep up with anything. Uh, and somewhat similarly to Dan's book, we have Emma Blackery's Feel Good 101, which I've read like the first. <laughs> yes. I'm like, I think a chapter or two in. Again, set it down, forget to go back to it. Oh, hey, I am cat, you're in there. Please sit. I started slightly getting into YouTubes and by that I mean I actually look and see ones I like. So I was like, hello, Nyan Cat. Nyan Cat is a beautiful classic, I have to. And then as always, I am only defined by things I'm interested in. Continuing the YouTube-y theme, Kaiho Fletcher is all I know. Hank Green's An Absolutely Remarkable Thing, which I still haven't started. I know, I know, there's a whole sequel now. I need to get on that. And then, this will not surprise anyone. Ow. <clears throat> Dan and Phil's The Amazing Book is Not on Fire, and Dan and Phil Go Outside. Yeah, Felicia Days, You're Never Weird on the Internet, which, once again, <laughs> Abandoned slightly, but we will get there. There is another little spooky ghosty roo, bookaroo um, that I rescued from my friend's clear out, so. I have read more of this. I haven't finished, I haven't read the entire book, um, but I've read at least a few because with these kinds of collections of spooky story books, I pick them up, I read them a bit, and then by the time I go back and pick them again, I don't remember, and I probably end up rereading them. Which is precisely what happens with this book. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, wait, this is Weird New York. I thought it was Weird New Jersey. Where did my Weird New Jersey book get to? Um, okay, I've all had the Weird New Jersey one for years and years, and I pick it up and I go through it, and I love it. I might have read the whole thing by this point, but every time I pick it up, I go, where did I get to? And I reread the other one, so I'm, at this point, I have no idea. I don't think I've actually started this one, but like there's a whole series, like these people have made weird whatever, and like it's a really cool book. Like there's pictures and paragraphs and they go to the places and tell you the things and I'm like, I'm down for spooky places and urban legends and all sorts of, you know, the stuff that makes places weird. I'm, I'm there for it. And you know, if I ever go to America and I actually get all of these books beforehand, I'll be totally prepped for a weird weird touristiness. I have the entire collection of the Witcher books, <laughs> which is me getting ahead of myself. I say that. Um, like, I've watched the show, I haven't played the games, but I know. I, I love a fantasy world with, like, all the wonderful creatures. I know I'm gonna love it. <laughs> and, you know, I like the show. I know the show is different from both game and books. 
I, I know, I know adaptations are not the same as the books and differ from each other and I have all that, I know. But I know I'm going to enjoy every, every variation. But I bought these, <laughs> I bought these literally right before the first UK lockdown, being like, yeah, we're going to do that, like, stuck inside. If we do, I will be prepared and have all these books to read. Have I so much as started? <laughs> no, but I'm very prepared. And I was very dedicated, actually, because it was... Like, a few weeks before the last lockdown, I was in, like, a Waterstones with my friend. And I think they had the first couple, or a mixture, and I bought them. And then they didn't, they had others, but they weren't the same, um, cover design. And I didn't want to mix and match my cover designs. So I found the rest online in the appropriate cover designs, and yes. Oh, uh, where am I putting these? <laughs> And not a book, but filed under things I'm vaguely intrigued or curious into and kind of want to get more into, but I'm also slightly scared of ever going into interests I didn't already have in case I'm wrong and horrible and... And a sense of, what if it's not my interest and I'm only interested in it because other people are interested in, but that's head gremlin stuff. <laughs> you can sit there. Dragons. Oh, yes, um, this is a magazine, not a book, but, um, <laughs> I occasionally buy an issue of Kerrang! still for very specific reasons. <laughs> Favorite band, interests, never die. Yeah, I have a few, like, creative well-being books that my friend got me, and as a gift, whatever, when there's a well-being journal with creative activities to inspire. In aid of mind, it's literally like quotes and coloring and do stuff and things. And then there's on a similar note, 365 days of drawing, which I also haven't started. And part of me wants to wait until like a new year now to make it a proper year, but that's just a... Like the same way where you wait for Monday to do a thing, I'm pretty sure, but at the same time being also a numbery thing, I don't know. Okay. Be done for now. Prepare for the tour. Starting at the top, we have the cool spino figure my partner got me for my birthday. Fenris from Dragon Age 2. I have no biases, bite me. Cool ass lip balm, some of which are Halloween themed. Sin Prince, because yeah, cow plant horror movie poster esque vibes. Stay later, my friends, Bob Pancakes, yes, yes. A Murloc with a little pushing on his head. My pushing sellotape holder that I really need to get more sellotape. Artistic Pikachu to inspire. The internet personalities and such shelf, along with my teeny tiny cow plant. Dragon Age and the Asylum. Weird and spooky and horror things. Mostly the witch shirt. Let's be real, this is like truth fiction is how this is going. I mean, depending how you feel about the supernatural, but I'm like, something's probably true. Frostbite, the zombie penguin, my other Sims print, the uh, well-being books behind. Also, hi, there's my, like, Christmassy stitch, don't mind him. The mug, the mug, the magazine, on top of the notebooks, on top of some pushing figures that I'm not sure if I want to keep or get rid of. Okay, I sell on eBay, cause as I've mentioned, my pushing obsession is a little bit lesser. And you know, I have just the cat to fill the space. I'm sorry, man, cat, you're upside down. Yeah, I need to work these in on this somewhere. We may not have fully completed. I may rearrange and figure out as I place more things. Would you fit in that guy? Uh, nope. In which you cannot see this in which you cannot see the spooks for the supernatural plushies. I'm probably okay with that, but where am I putting Crowley? Crowley could sit up here. <laughs> um, like I said, we have to rework on some things, but it's okay. It's like life. Everything is just a work in progress. Everything can make a mistake, can be improved, will change over time. So I may or may not add in, you know, how the Percy Pig stuff tastes and goes. It's a little extra on the end here. But if not, 
Thank you for hanging out with me. It was fun. Hi. It is later and tired of shrimp with the Percy Pig Fizzy Pop. And yes, I consider these glasses my special occasion ones. <laughs> It, it, it tastes like fizzy Percy Pigs in like a creamy smoothie way, and I'm very glad I did go for it. I say that, it, it's not like going to become the new craving, but it is nice, and I would not turn it down if I happened to run across it again, you know, that way. And this, this is the Percy Pig Bites. Look at them, they're just tiny and adorable. They're just clumps, they're just little clumps of marshmallowy, fruity, sweet wonder. And these, these I'm like... My birthday, anybody's birthday I'm bringing sweets to, I'm, I'm, um, yes, yes. And for anyone wondering, yes, Hamble has had a wonderful time rejoicing at all the snacks too. Cause oh boy, between the snacks I've got my partner and the snacks my partner's family has got him, Hamble's living a dream right now, if he can get to them. Thank you for watching and joining me on my little lifey birthday shelf vlog thingy-mabob. This is the not-so-consistent channel, but if you like gaming and a shrimp, I'm much more active over on my Twitch and my gaming YouTube. You like the sound of that? Feel free to click things. <laughs> I like spooks, I like Dragon Age, as you may be able to tell.